Hello everyone. Okay, so this is the third time I'm trying to film this. I am bringing you in the darkness with my multitude of light sources. An ambient video of how you can light your house if your electricity goes off. Now this is one of those light stakes, you know, those solar powered light stakes. from Dollar Tree. You can use it like this. This is a ball lid on a Dollar Tree jar. It comes with this lid, but I didn't feel like cutting it. Now you can also use it like that, minus the lid obviously. Like that, if you wanted to. They just pop right in the bottom of the ball lid. And then I like it in this jar because it kind of diffuses the moves it out. Alright, so let's do Dollar Tree first. You can get yourself a bunch of these solar powered lights and a bunch of those jars, or just use any kind of jars. You can get a bunch of Dollar Tree candles. We have a multitude of choices at Dollar Tree. They also have tea lights. Uh, and this one. They almost Sometimes they run out, of, run out of these, but for the most part they have them. These are, I think, nine hours. Something like that. Anyway, it's a nice, tall, thin uh, candle, but now you're going to need a longer lighter when you get down here, this is not going to work. See that? <laughs> You're not going to be able to light it. So you need one of those longer lighters. I wouldn't attempt it with matches either. Obviously with this type of candle, you will need this type of candle holder. Oops, sorry. I also get my matches from Dollar Tree and I keep them in a jar because that way they don't, I don't have to worry about them falling all over the place or starting a fire or getting wet. And I keep the strike thing in my cabinet. This is from Dollar Tree. Move the candles out of the way. This I bought about, I think I bought this in July. It's a little mini desk lamp. It takes three AA batteries. I'm surprised at how bright that is, quite honestly. Let me lower this down a little bit. That's pretty bright. There's also this one at Dollar Tree. If I see these again, I'm going to grab more of them. They take three AA batteries. This one takes three AAA batteries. So you're going to have to keep in mind that if you have something that requires batteries, you're going to have to stock up on batteries or get yourselves some... Um, Rechargeable batteries. Okay. This I only see at Dollar Tree around the holidays. And this is a flashlight that you wind by pumping it. Oops. Uh-oh. What'd I do? There we go. It's a bright little flashlight. And for a dollar, it isn't bad. I like that. Um, okay, so these you get from Dollar Tree as well. So th those are different light sources from Dollar Tree. Now from a camping section, this is old. This is like, I'm going to say a good two decades old. Okay, this is a hand crank lantern. You're supposed to crank it for more than a minute before you turn it on. It's a bright little lantern. I keep this by my bed because I know exactly where it is. I know how to operate it in case the power goes out. Now here, we've only lost power for about 45 minutes. That was one time. People around the block from us, 
they were out for days. I can't figure that one out, but whatever. Another thing from the camping section that you can get is a Coleman battery operated lantern. Again, keep in mind that you're going to need batteries. This takes four D size batteries. Again, I've had that for decades. Let's move on to oil lamps, which you can get at Walmart, by the way. This one I got at either a yard sale or a secondhand store. I've never used it and never even filled it, but obviously it was used at one point. This one, same thing. I can't remember if I got it at a secondhand store or a yard sale. This one I've had for at least 20 years. I've never used it. It does have oil in it, though. And this one I got from Walmart. That's for me now. And you control the flame by this little turny thingy on the side. This little flame adjuster. I don't know how to shut it off. <laughs> this is going to be interesting because this is the first time I'm using it. Um. Oh yeah, this is from Walmart. It's a three-week candle. I think it was probably on clearance. Made in the USA. This one is Spun Pumpkin Sugar. It's from last year. It is not from this year. Um, <laughs> if you're going to use oil lamps, you are going to need wicks and lamp oil, as well as a lighter or matches. Um... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I mean, this is my third time trying it. I don't want to repeat myself in this video if I've already said it because, you know. Anyway, I thought I would bring you along in a nice ambient little darkness. How are we going to light our house if we don't have electricity? Well, that's how you do it. You either use candles or you use battery oper operated stuff. Or you use oil lamps. Or a crank if you can find them. I don't know. This is old. Like I said, I'm sure they still have them though. Um, uh oh. I'm sure they still have these. Yeah. Or one of those. Uh, or your solar powered stick. A bunch of these. Like a lot of these. They have, you know what they have too? The little um, light up tea candles, but I don't know how long they last. I don't think, I guess you could sh turn them on and off some of them. And I don't know if you can replace the batteries on those. Um, what else? But this thing gives off a lot, a lot of light for this little thing, huh? That is awesome. I like it. If I see these again, I'm grabbing a bunch of them. So the other thing you can do for batteries is you can get rechargeable batteries and you would need a source to recharge them if you I know they make them but they're kind of pricey I was thinking about getting them myself but uh, I think they're like $50 for the, the solar charging the solar powered battery chargers boy that's a mouthful huh um, and I don't know if that includes batteries so you know it might be separate Anywho, this is kind of cool because it comes in this box all bent and twisted like that. <laughs> Pretty ingenious. I think it's made in China though, so if you've got a problem with that, well, uh, 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 it does not say, oh, made in China. Um, what isn't made in China these days, right? <sighs> My candle isn't. That's cool. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I wanted to bring you that and I thought it would be pretty cool to do it at night so that you can see how lit up or unlit up it would be to have um, these things, you know? I think that I think if I see these little things, I'm going to grab a couple more. You know what's funny? Was it when I was going on my search to find the batteries for that, I realized, wow, I thought I used more AA, AAA batteries than AA, but in actuality, 
in actual uh, in actuality <laughs> it's the opposite i use more double a's than i do triple a's so i am out of trip uh double a batteries and i need to go get some i think i'm gonna go to walmart tomorrow there's a couple of things i want to pick up i need a new phone a house phone um because the battery i think we get instead of blackouts here we get power surges, it seems like, and my one charging base is not on a surge protector, which I guess I should change, right? And it keeps killing batteries on me. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go buy new phones and start from scratch and uh, use the surge protectors. So did I mention in this one that you can use a jar? I'm, not, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm not sure if I did. Put a hole in a lid. Use cotton twine. You know the cotton twine, baker twine they sell, but the little thicker to thicker than that. Um, put it in a jar with any kind of oil. You don't have to use lamp oil. Any oil will do. It's not going to smell good. You know, I mean, you're going to smell burning olives. But if you have lamp oil, you're not going to smell anything. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Did I say a little tea lights? You know, they sell the tea lights in packages of 30, I think, if you want them at Walmart. Um, the last time I went to look for one of these at Walmart, which was like the beginning of the pandemic, they didn't have any at all. And they didn't have any wicks either. So now this one takes a wide wick. I have these thinner wicks, which probably fits into this one. Um, this one takes a, like, the cotton twine that I'm talking about would be, like, half the thickness of that, but it would work. Um, and this, obviously, I needs, needs more wicks, too, because this actually was used. See that? It's got nothing there. So, I thought that might be a nice little interesting, uh ambient ambient way for me to uh, bring you some a little bit of knowledge a whole bunch of different things out there that you can use now the room it's not obviously it's not very bright <laughs> across the room let me take this out it's not very bright across the room but it's bright enough I mean you can eat by it and you can read by it so really, what more do you need, right? You could cook by it, I'm sure. It's bright enough. I mean, this, you can turn, you can adjust the flame, so you can adjust the brightness. Uh, and that's just the uh, the wick going up and down. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's about all I can think of. As far as lighting goes, you know, um, this would probably run you, I'm going to guess probably $20. I mean, look, it's even broken. I have two of these. The other one doesn't work. doesn't even crank. So I don't know what happens to that thing. Probably dropped it one too many times. Um, I have two of these too, but I don't have, I have two of the Coleman, but I don't have batteries for the other one. Um, these are pretty cool, you know, but you would need a lot of them. A real lot of them to get any kind of lighting going. Here, let me shut that off. Shut that off. And that's the, you know, it's not really very bright. You can't read by it. And you can't buy it. You could maybe eat by it. It'd be pretty dark, though. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's all I got for you. Hope that helps somebody out there. If you see these at Dollar Tree, I would grab them. Come in this little box. Uh, I don't know if I have a cold. I think it's allergies. Or these two. These are kind of very good enough, you know. Well, let's see. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh... That's it.
kind of an ambient way of doing it. I'm going to pack this back up, this little guy here. I think that's the way it was. Came in the box. Oh, there's the bird. Telling me it's time for that birdie to get tucked in. Oh boy. On that note, I am going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Have a great, yeah, great night. Talk to y'all soon. Bye for now.